Floyd Mayweather, one of the greatest fighters of all time, 50 fights, zero losses as a professional boxer, has just had a fight with Logan Paul, one of the biggest YouTubers on this platform, who is also a professional boxer, who's had one fight with zero wins. Floyd is an 11 times world champion at five different weird categories, and when you Look on paper, you think, how the hell is this fight happening? And this is going to be an easy victory for Floyd. He's going to wipe the floor with this YouTuber. He's got no chance. And that's what everyone thought. But everyone was a little bit wrong. And I'm going to give you my views on the fight, which will probably upset a lot of people. And people won't agree with everything I'm about to say. And I've got some experience with this. And, and if you don't know who I am, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer. I'm a former undefeated professional, seven times national champion. Champion, European champion and this is a brand new YouTube channel where I'm going to be talking everything fighting so if you're new here and you like boxing please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this now I'm not like most boxers out there who are really hating on this fight and seeing this is like a circus. This should never be happening. It's embarrassing of boxing. It's going to kill the sport of boxing. How's this happening? Logan's got no right to be in the ring with Floyd Mayweather. This is just stupid. How's it? Blah, 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 blah. I'm not like that. No, I think this is great. I absolutely love it. This is entertainment. I had 106 fights in my career. I've watched thousands and thousands of boxing fights in my time. And I want entertainment now. I don't want to watch fights that, you know, that I feel like are boring. I like, I like entertainment. And this is pure entertainment. Seeing one of the goats, one of the greatest of all time, Floyd Mayweather, even though I'm not a fan of Floyd as a person, because I met him and he was very mean to me. I'll tell you about that story at the end of this video. Uh, but he is one of the greatest fighters of all time. Now, he's fighting someone who is 18 years younger than him who is hungry, who uh, can talk the talk, and who is way, way taller than them. It actually reminded us of, on the Rocky movies, where you see Rocky fighting Hulk Hogan in that wrestling match, the size difference. When I seen them both in there, square, square and off, yeah, I was like, wow, the size difference is huge. So I want to see this. So when the fight happened, I was, I was excited. I was a little bit nervous. I didn't know what to expect from the fight. I was thinking, is Floyd just going to, stop him within three or four rounds he's going to go out there and put it on him and what happened i was very surprised with round one come out logan fainted just a little bit floyd was really backing off i'm like whoa floyd is really respecting logan's power and he's never even felt it yet i mean floyd is obviously very smart he's a smart guy he doesn't want to get hit he's thinking about his health but how wary was of logan's power and what ended up happening in that round Logan won round one. Yes, Logan Paul, the YouTuber, beat Floyd Mayweather in the first round of their exhibition fight. Exhibition fight. Then round two, the same. Logan won round two as well. I'm like, what's happening here? And then round three, Floyd come out. And he must have been thinking, like, I need to put him on him now. I'm, I'm, I'm losing these rounds. And he put it on him. And then round four onwards, Floyd really tried to stop Logan Paul and, and try to hurt and hurt him and try and knock him out, which he didn't manage to do. And, you know, I really enjoyed it. It was entertaining. But one thing that really got under my skin that annoyed me was the commentators on Showtime. They were very, very biased toward Floyd Mayweather. They were, had their tongue so far up his ass. You know, <laughs> it was ridiculous. You know, we've got, like I said, we've got this, we've got this young YouTuber who's won not just one round, but two rounds against Floyd. And they didn't give him one tiny little incy wince bit of credit. They were more saying, ooh, I bet Logan Paul wishes he never hit Floyd that hard because the next round, Floyd's going to do this. And every time Logan was, if was holding on, oh, he thinks he's a wrestling match. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were just giving him so much hate and disrespect as if this was just a spectacle and it was easy and it was just, like, they didn't respect anything that he did which got under my skin. Because for anyone to go in there with Floyd Mayweather, you've got to respect. Never mind to win a round. Never mind to go the distance with him. Now, I know he's 44 years old. He's a, he's, a, he's a lot older now. And I don't care what anyone says. Floyd Mayweather tried to knock Logan Paul out in that fight. He tried to knock him out, especially in them last five rounds. He was putting it on him, trying everything to knock him out, and he couldn't. And one thing that uh, I did like at the end of the fight was how they responded to each other, how they, how they reacted, and Floyd said, you know, I 
think Logan was a lot better than I expected. And, you know, and I, and I really believe he did. But then when he said that, I was thinking, why is Floyd saying this? Floyd's been very respectful. And then I thought, hmm, who is the biggest names on the internet? And it is Logan and Jake Paul. They can make a meme about someone that goes viral anytime, any day they want to know. If Floyd started talking crap about Logan, he could have maybe squashed his name and, and made him look really bad on memes and all that on, on the internet. You know, there's, there's still a mic. But, uh, so I was thinking, is Floyd just being nice just so they don't do that? Well, I don't know. But then Logan got on the mic and he said, you know, Floyd, great, one of the goats, and I'm honoured to be in the ring room and uh, and all other nice things, which which was really nice to hear as well. And you know, the thing that annoyed me the most was, was just them, them commentators. Yeah, and I'm going to be ranting more on this YouTube channel about boxing, giving you my views on fights, fighters, and, and the this current scene of boxing. So make sure you subscribe to this brand new YouTube channel for more like this. And the story about Floyd. So in 2009, I went to Vegas for a trip and it was after the Olympics. So someone who I knew said, I've got a friend who's in Floyd with this gym. If you want to go there, meet him, I'll be able to sort it out for you. So I was like, yeah, definitely. So I went to the gym. I was really excited. I was a Floyd member of the fan. 2009, he came in the gym. The gym was packed. He went around and shook everybody's hand in that gym until he got to me. So he looked me up and down. He said, who the f*** is this white boy? And I was like, uh, uh, I, I'm Tony. Nice to meet you. I'm, I went to the Olympics like you, Floyd, and I won a bronze medal like you. And he was like, meh. And, what are we? and ever since then, I've just lost me respect for him after, since he spoke to me like that. And I've not been a not been a fan of him since then and anyone who he's fought I've always wanted them to to beat him including Logan Paul now I've got one question for you before we end this video if Jake Paul is supposedly the best of the Paul brothers who do you think would win the way Floyd's just fought in Jake Paul do you think Jake Paul has got a chance in hell of beating Floyd let me know in the comments below and guys make sure you subscribe for more videos like this thank you for watching